We officially have 67 days until our new deadline for this van build. Our initial deadline was April 1st, or end of April, and it's nowhere close to that, so. That came and went like that. <laughs> August 1st it is, 67 days remaining. Let's cross our fingers, folks. Today we are finally starting the framing on the van, which hopefully moves a lot quicker than the plumbing and the electrical did. We are starting with the bathroom behind the baby seat because that is where we are going to include our electrical panel and it kind of takes up a decent amount of space. So that is where we are beginning and we're hopefully gonna get it framed out within the next day or two. This is going to be our shower bathroom area. I know a lot of people don't use these anymore or find a way to- Do you like hybrid? Yeah, but we like our bathroom shower area, so. It's a must. We use it a lot in our last van and we'll use it again in this one too. So we're doing it again. Very, very rare occurrence, folks. <laughs> very rare. First order of business. Steel studs? Second. I already did two furring strips. We make so long. We already have a steel so stud right here. Oh! Yeah, baby. Once we got the wall up, we spent a good chunk of time talking over our plan. We often find ourselves in this situation, stopping and staring to think about how we're going to implement something, which I think is a very common thing among other van builders. This microwave is a new feature for this van, as well as our electrical command center, which will sit on the same wall. 58 days remaining until the build needs to be complete. Wow, look what we got oh, here. Ready to rock and roll, baby. Ready to go to war, but not too hard. Now we didn't do too much filming since we're racing against the clock, but we're building out an overhead shelf over the driver and passenger seat. Now you don't need any expensive kit, simply use a piece of cardboard to create your template and modify cheap aluminum brackets that you can find off Amazon to get the perfect alignment. Right, well, I'm officially back on the project. Today I am sanding and painting this upper cabinet, so hopefully we can get it installed. For the command center, we wanted a way to access the internal wall of our shower that's aesthetically pleasing. In the last van, we had a door on the back wall of the shower hidden by our closet so we can access it whenever we needed to. For this, this wall will be exposed, so we're going to use the command center as a door or access panel to get inside the shower wall. To do this, we're using white acrylic, which I think turned out pretty good. Just make sure you don't crack it and be very precise with your cuts. You gotta find the people the ones that make you feel that all right. That one's my favorite store. <laughs> the kind you wanna stay up with all night. You gotta find the people, the ones that make you feel whole. They won't leave like you outside when you lose control. The ones that don't want to see you lose your soul. You gotta find the people, the ones that get the joke. You understand what you're saying for a word is spoke. Quick meal before you get to work. I'm going to sleep so mommy and daddy can work. Yeah. He looks really tired. <laughs> Wide awake. And daddy just blundered in chess big time. The queen. We have some help on the job site today. Somebody didn't want to go down for a nap. So now he's our general contractor and he's just overseeing the build. Today we're making a big push on the van build. We've got a decent amount of work done over the past week with framing the shower, installing our electrical command center here, and getting the DIY overhead shelf in, which we have the hooks and the shelf is right here. And we have a piece of the wall behind Wyatt's seat right here. That is actually some pretty nice plywood we got from a local guy here in South Jersey. Kevin was just sitting here. 
pulling, 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 and it wasn't coming through. And he's like, I don't know what it's stuck on. And I was like, oh, maybe that uh, bolt right there. He's like, what bolt? You know, the one we use for the uh, good old fairing strips. One, two, three, four. Four more to go. Technically five three if we now. want to put it over the oh. overhead oh. cabinet. Saving the hardest for last. We uh, should have done this before we started framing the shower. So we have to make it through all the way. Nothing like a good challenge, am I right? Hopefully this works. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing, yeah. Here, I'll be the puller. Got the wall up behind Wyatt's seat on the outside of the shower. I'm really happy how it turned out. It's pretty flush with the wall here. And then this one is gonna be next to the window. So we'll put some trim on it, but there'll be a bit of a gap here. We don't want anything too close to the window. God forbid there's a big vibration or something that could crack the window or something. We wanna maintain that space, but pretty stoked how this turned out. This wood is super smooth, stoked on it. Thank you, Mama. No problem. Woo. So today's goal, shiplap the microwave sidewall. Mm-hmm. And the ceiling. To that part. Yesterday, I spent the morning getting the overhead shelf fine-tuned and finished. I have an additional half-inch piece of wood back here glued to help support it and prevent any bevel in it. And then I'm going to marry this edge to three-quarter inch ply for the face frame of this cabinet. Similar to what we did in the last van, basically the same thing. The only difference is the glued piece of plywood in the back to help prevent it from beveling since we didn't have that in the last van. So yeah, it's kind of tricky with this uh, shape and stuff, but we'll try and get it all worked out and figured out here. Big saw girl, huh? Big miter girl. Might be my favorite tool. Oops. Over sand? I hate the sander. I'm just a really good sander. Oh. I'll take miter over sander all day. You don't get nearly as dirty. Debatable. If you're doing MDF? I mean, I don't know. The dust from Stan the Sander? Stan the Sander. All right, let's go. It's gonna be easy. We can just knock it in. Okay, time to eat a little snack. Little man's asleep. He is asleep. Gosh knows how long, but we should take advantage. Not gonna lie, trying to build a van with a little baby is not that easy. Luckily, uh, you know, we are two people, so Taylor can dedicate that time to Wyatt while I try and get stuff done. But to be honest with you, we really work best when we're, we both can use each other and bounce all ideas off each other and stuff, so. It's been a bit difficult. Probably we can finish it. So we have this baby monitor that tells us, uh, well, it's on our phones. And uh, the little man was put down 18 minutes ago. And his eyes are wide open. Praying that he goes back to sleep. Yeah, they're wide open. <laughs> 18 minutes. How are we supposed to get anything done in 18 minutes? Oh. oh, wish us luck. Break time is over. Need to get back at it while we can. Why it's still kind of napping, not really like dead out, but he's content. So we got a couple big pieces of shiplap going on the roof that we need to. We need two people for. So why it was just sleeping and now he's back up. I can't wait. 
to show him this video when he's like 10 years old. You know, son, back when you were a wee little lad, you made life a little difficult. <laughs> Tell me this is not a safety hazard. It a thousand percent is. One. Leaving the thing right there? The grinder? Are you trying to grind off our toes? Speak. Look down. It's not even plugged in. There's a blade. It's a it's a circle. So is uh the miter. Yeah, but that has teeth. <laughs> Any other comments? I hear a whole lot of excuses. Any other comments? How about the drapes of wool? <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> You don't like them. <laughs> I think we should just leave it like yeah. this. It looks so homey. <laughs> For the record, it does smell like a barn in here. We're finally putting up the sides. Ooh, my hair is looking crazy. We are making crazy. good progress, Chica. We are making good progress. Yeah. Yeah. We're halfway there. Are. I mean, it's starting to look like something. Yeah, sure is. All that progress we were making, I think it's officially over. It's been asleep for one hour and 47 minutes, which is way longer than any nap that he usually takes, so he's probably up for good. Hi! Hi! Why is first rain? He's got it in the eye. He got it in his eye. Oh, it's okay. It's just a little rain. Mommy and Daddy love the rain. We made some good progress today. Yeah, why it was a little trooper. This little guy had a oh, look at that thing dropping right in his, right off his nose. Oh, you poor guy. And it stopped already? Yeah, we've been in a drought for like a month now. Hence the brutally brown front lawn. Backyard's pretty good since we've been watering a lot, but. Progress is made. Lots of progress. I'm just I adding in I, some lights. And I was going to say, I guess the lights are going to stay on technically because they get a little bit of light. Well, right now there, there's a fuse in, so it's full blast. Oh. Alrighty. You want to stay out here with Dad? No. Your Dad can't get anything done if you stay out here with him. He would get on the, har the strap harness. I would love it. Then when I get electrocuted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. All right. Love you. Love you. Progress has been made. Next up will be the counters, or the counters, the upper cabinets right here. And then we're gonna have a little shelf right here. But it is time for dinner. The rain has passed. It's getting late. So that's it for today.